Hello and welcome to YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced Amiga channel. This is Q and this is Hold and Modify. And today we have held and modified quite a lot of things. You can see we have a Pi back there doing its Pi thing. We have an Amiga 1200, so carefully assembled. And then there is a floppy disk. An install 3.2 floppy disk. Where did that floppy disk come from? Well, it came from this. The Grease Weasel V4 from Emikit. It actually arrived in a pretty timely manner. Didn't take uh, that long. And here we go. It came with the cable you see, which is the standard cable with the twist. This is an Amiga 3000 floppy drive set to DF0. I didn't adjust any of the jumpers on the drive. And there are jumpers on this grease weasel. I have not touched them. The drive is being successfully powered by the USB cable, just going into the computer down there. And I was able to use the command prompt version of the software to create a, uh, that floppy disk. And those commands are saved here. And this is uh, with amazing thanks to, look, I'm gonna go over to the Amiga Facebook group. And this gentleman right here, Monodith Pen, Monodith Pen, is the T silent? I don't know, I'm sorry, I apologize if it's not. <laughs> he uh, helped me out uh, immensely, and I just wanted to make this quick video to confirm that you can order this product, it will show up in a decent amount of time. You can use it with a real Amiga floppy drive, you can use it with the cable you can, you can pay to have shipped with the Grease Weasel from any kit, or you can just use an Amiga floppy cable if you have one laying around. I pulled one out of my 1200 and it also worked. And the 1200 floppy drive cable, I don't know if you guys are aware, I'm sure you are, you guys are Amiga nerds just like me, it doesn't have the twist in it. It's just a regular floppy cable. It still works. So this cable has the twist in it and it, and it works. Now I'm assuming that's because you can use it with a PC floppy drive, which is one of the things they advertise it. In fact, I think they mostly advertise it, use a PC floppy drive to write Amiga floppies. Um, I have a PC floppy drive down here, but it doesn't seem to work. I tried it with the cable provided, and uh, it just it doesn't work. As soon as I stick a floppy disk in the PC floppy drive, it just goes tick, 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 yeah, and never never does anything. So I gave up on that PC drive and went back to my Amiga drive. I have plenty of Amiga floppy drives, and using the cable, it, uh, it works, and it does power it up. I know some folks said that the Amiga PC floppy drives or Amiga floppy drives would need 12 volts, but they seem to be doing fine with the USB power here, and uh, used the commands that he helped me out with to uh, write the disk. So yeah, like to read a disk, so these are the commands. I'm gonna put this in the description too, guys, so don't worry, and to write a disk. And then of course, there's a whole command list. And for you guys that are more savvy with command prompt and exploring the help features of the EXE that it provides, you can uh, do a lot more with it. For me, I just wanted to be able to write uh, Amiga disks from ADF files to feed my Amigas over here, specifically the 3000, since that's the only way I have to get files to it is floppy for now. Tedious, yes, but at least it's a way. This way I can at least use this grease weasel thing to make uh, floppy disks to send over to the 3000. That's gonna be super, super handy. Hey there, it's Editor Q, and I just wanted to comment on the fact that the there is a GUI available to control the Grease Weasel, and you're able to run that as a front end on top of the command prompt stuff. However, I was having a lot of issues with it, and for my needs, and I think for a lot of people, uh, it's, it's not something I wanted to go over in this video because it was quite the uh, deep dive, and I was never able to get the GUI working properly. It just seemed to fail to issue incorrect commands. However, the commands that I've included in the description of this video do show you how to write disks, ADFs, to the floppies and make disks, which I think is probably what most of us want to do. At least that's what I want to do. I want to be able to make floppy disks, and with these basic commands, I was able to do that. So I just wanted to mention that, yes, there is a GUI front end for this. I just did not uh, go over it, and that's why there was a little bit of a abrupt edit there. Uh, the floppy cable that Amiga Kit will sell you and the power cable they will sell you to go along with the Grease Weasel does indeed work with an Amiga floppy drive. 
So you, and they also give you this USB cable too. So you pretty much have everything out of the box as long as you have the Amiga floppy drive, uh, you're ready to go. And again, this is set to DF0. That's why you're seeing over here it says drive zero. That's DF0. If this was set to DF1, you'd probably set drive to one. But just confirming this setup works. And again, thank you everyone on the Facebook uh, Amiga group who helped out. And then I moved on to this particular group and uh, and got all that amazing uh, information from uh, Mr. Mr. Penn. I'll just call him Mr. Penn. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short video. And uh, thanks for watching.